of the technology. Oh my, let's see. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I gotta love it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> well, man, I appreciate you jumping on. You used to say the phone with this, but now jumping on the computer with you for this. Yep. Yep. So, I mean, sure. uh, let's just jump right into it. I mean, this new song that you have with The Who, it uh, it is just taken off. It's a great song. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. I really appreciate it. I'm so happy uh, to hear it, to hear you yeah. say that. So, I mean, you know, how did it, uh, I guess, starting with just how did it come together? How did you get hooked up with those guys uh, to, to do this? Well, it came sort of out of out of the blue really a request came into the alice office and uh you know it was just sort of like would you would you be interested in this and and uh i mean it, such a surprise and i it took me a second just to like take it in like okay okay what 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 do we what 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 am i being asked to do exactly and what's going on and um but yeah i was really really pleased and uh and and honored and uh so i thought yeah let's let's take this on let's let's see what we can do right honestly the question i was asking myself wouldn't be answered in reality for quite some time there was sort of a it, it, what i the, the the question of what am i going to do here gradually the answer evolved over time <laughs> so it was, it, sure. was, it actually ended up being a journey this record but uh really really worthwhile one yeah i suppose you know when you first get asked it you're like sure i'll I'll do it but if in the process i'm not liking how it's sounding i don't want to do it anymore <laughs> well you know it, it really was more uh, more an issue of of wanting to make a contribution to this record without um uh, without stepping all over what they do it was really a matter of just finding this balance where um we're both really well represented uh, you know so at first it, it was the request came in almost like you know would you just want to sing some english lyrics over this it's almost like you know do a verse and like like kind of like what what the rappers do you know you want to do a verse on this you know right and i thought oh that could be good you know um and uh but then again, it just evolved over time. And I think uh, the ambitions and the hopes for what the song, um, what what they wanted the song to achieve just, you know, kept sort of growing, you know? And so, uh, you know, in the end, I ended up producing and engineering this track. And in part because you know, just logistics, right? Of, of of how you how how best this could be done these days, right? Um, but also because I ended up having to kind of take the song apart and put it back together, you know. And in doing so, sort of write a song within the song, and then fuse that all together. So what they had and what I had, you know, I had to record a whole bunch of you know over a dozen guitar tracks, um, you know, another bass track. There's there's about I, I recorded myself over 50 vocal tracks. So, you know, it, it, it just, again, it became sort of a, a, a sort of a massive thing. And then the, the, the task was to fuse all of that together with what they already had, which was in itself, you know, pretty involved. So, yeah, but again, we got there and, and it's really, really cool. And I'm just so happy that people are enjoying it. And so, I mean, when you, when you approach with this and you listen to the original in your head as someone who now says, okay, here's the original, which is great. Now they want me to do it with me on it. How are you looking at it saying, I want to do this, still give, you know, the original, what it does, but now add what, what William brings to it. Where do you find yeah. that balance in something like that? Yeah. Well, that's the key. It is. It, the key is balance. And so in the case of this track, um, there's a lot of call and response going on. So if I say something more often than not, they're saying something right back in reply. Right. So that was one way to achieve that balance. Um, and again, throughout the, throughout the process, um, you know, once I had, you know, once I had that, at first I had that verse 
then I sort of came up with this hook that worked with the chorus that they had. But then I ended up having to write a whole new chorus as well and then still keep the hook and, and keep the elements that made the original chorus that they had, you know, still keep that, keep that dynamic. But again, you if you listen, you hear all throughout call and response, call and response, because at every point where I was, you know, say doing a rough mix or something or, you know, doing some more editing and I saw a, a spot where I could fit them in, you know, I, I would I would say, oh, you know what, I think I can I can fit another vocalization from them here. So sure. let me go ahead and do that. There was a lot of that, a lot of that. And and what made it challenging was more often than not, the new spot that I sort of sussed out that where they could fit it it would make that vocal part that they that their their vocal part fall rhythmically in a completely different way than it did in their original track. So there was a lot of moving and shifting and and placing and replacing and but uh you know it was all it was all to serve that balance to serve that balance so that we it really becomes this east meets west collaboration kind of you know um yeah so i i i think i think we got some i think i think we achieved it and uh i'm really happy with it you know yeah oh absolutely should be and i think it it already shows with how much uh, people are digging it um so that's from the music musical standpoint building the whole thing lyrically i haven't checked the lyrics that you are singing in this version are they the same as the mongolian version or did some things have to change because of the music no there was really no um there was really no i want to say accurate or or precise way of of translating anything that they had in in mongolian so i just sort of tapped into the basic spirit of it all and um and more generally i tapped into the spirit that i think the band embodies overall regardless of what song it is and it's this idea well they, they're very very proud of where they come from obviously and they they really I mean, visually and musically they're bringing that right and I, I think it comes from a pride in their heritage in their country in their lineage their history going back you know thousands of years right i mean this is stuff so this idea of being a part of a continuum that's something that I think we all can relate to. We all want to have this sense of belonging to something larger than ourselves, right? Whether it's a tie to family or to country or to any group, social group. I mean, bands form for that reason. Yeah, all sorts of organizations come together around that idea. And so I just zoomed in on that. That's a universal feeling. These guys embody it in their way and being very proud of their Mongolian heritage and wearing that so beautifully and so honestly, but the feeling is something we all share. So that's what I zoomed in on lyrically. I wanted to um, just sort of spell that out. And the fact that sometimes it, it takes a warrior spirit in order to manifest the best of that idea of being part of this continuum, because you want to, you want to take the best of what your ancestors, the people who came before you, left you, and then you want to try to move the ball further down the field if you can. You want to try to make things a little bit better, advance it in your way, and then leave it for the, the, the children coming after you. To do that is obviously sometimes a really challenging task. You have to tap into the warrior spirit to do it. So that's the thing. And that's cool that you, you took it in that direction and obviously – you know, like you said, to to start the process, you didn't know them. It was it was out of the blue. But then right. through the process, not only musically and lyrically, I mean, obviously, you guys had to come together in order to get that that vibe and spirit that they wanted, but also that vibe and spirit that fits you. So it is fitting the 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 two different, you know, like you said, east west, 
but it's getting them all to come together like that. So that's very cool. I, the process to me is always fascinating, especially, you know, in any song. I don't care if it's, you know, an Alice in Chains song or if it's a song like this where it's like, here's the original. Now here's what we turn it into. It's just always cool for me with that. So, yeah, um, so I mean, you know, and they've done songs now with Lizzie Hale and, and Jacoby and yourself and stuff like that. Um, when they're out on tour, any chance that you all of a sudden pop up at a tour with them and do the song? <laughs> oh, I would love that. I would love that. I, you know, that that has been brought up, and I've always said I I would love to do it if um you know if the opportunity presents itself, the 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 scheduling permits, you know, the logistics permit. I would love it. I think it would be fantastic. I know yeah. I got the, uh, the the one sheet here that says they're doing a concert in the metaverse coming up. And I'm like, well, that would be cool. Like, you know, <laughs> get yourself with and get everybody in one thing and be like, let's let's do a virtual guy. Because it's, it's going to be hard for yourself and Lizzie and Jacoby and these guys to all be in one place. But you right. can if it's in one computer place. <laughs> That's that's true. You, you raise an interesting point. <laughs> I haven't been approached about that, but... Uh... <laughs> Maybe oh. uh, if someone listening will say like, hey, I say, uh, the label's listening. I'm going to just give you more work. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Get the green screen. You know, yeah. <laughs> green screen, yeah. You, you'll be in Mongolia just like that. Don't worry about it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, cool. I mean, is this the first time that you have worked on a project like this where you've taken somebody else's song that's been done, especially in a different language, and have redone it? Yeah, I'd have to say that's a first. Um, it, so with it, it being uh, a, with it being a first, mm -hmm. was it a, a a process and now an outcome that you're like, I would do that again? Or you're like, that that wore me out. <laughs> oh no, sure, I I I would be open to doing it again. I, I I think um, you know, part of the the part of the the challenge and the beauty of life, right, is taking on these things that 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 force you into a different way of thinking and a different way of working or that force you to maximize certain elements in your thinking in a new way so this was this was really cool i mean there were there were definitely moments where i was like okay gosh what am i gonna do moments where i felt like i hit a little roadblock here now i gotta break through this and and keep it going but uh you know that's what makes this thing so beautiful when it comes out you know because you know now something that i wouldn't have even imagined a few months ago is out in the world and it's being enjoyed by people so that's an amazing thing i i uh i think the more that i've learned to say yes to things the better my life has gotten you know what i mean it's it's yeah. It's that thing of like, you know, there's a part of you that's always the self-doubting part, but then there's a part of you that says like, well, why not? You know, that why not thing, that's kind of where you need to lean most of the time, I think, to really get to the interesting things, you know? <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, you, you've been doing this since, you know, what, 1980 something or another? And yeah. I think you said why not a decent amount to uh, to get where you are. For sure, yeah, absolutely. I I didn't come into this easy, man. The, the the yeah, I came into it through through uh, the early hardcore scene. So that was that. There were challenges right off the bat, you know. <laughs> even, <laughs> even as a fifteen year old, there was like, you know, a lot of challenges going on. But uh, but yeah, so yeah, I've sort of been uh, I sort of matriculated that way, right? You know, so yeah. it's, it's I cool. mean, yeah, obviously, yeah, I I don't know you or anything, but I mean. Just looking at your uh, your history, your background, I, I think you're up for the challenge. Like you said, the, the hardcore scene in the '80s, and then it's like, hey, you want to uh, take over for this legendary singer in this legendary band? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> and now we'll just, you know, yeah. take this song from this, you know, worldwide band, and I'll redo it. Why not? Right. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, you're 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 saying it. That's exactly it. That's the that's the spirit, and. Um... You know, it's not that it's always easy, but it's it's that it's worthwhile. And uh, so in moments like this where you you get to reflect on it while at the same time people are enjoying it. You know, there's people listening to it right now, this new Who single. Um, that's a great thing. And I, I hope that, um, 
you know, the as I said before, they really represent their culture well, but they have this love for Western rock and metal. And and so it's they want to try to uh, you know increase the awareness in the West about yeah. about the, their group. And and so I mean, if I can be of any help in that regard, that's that's also a huge honor. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. That's a it's a great fusion and a, and a great song and uh, happy that we're able to happy that it, you took the time to to do it and happy that we're able to play it for sure. Um, awesome. Couple minutes left. I mean, I wouldn't be uh, you know wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask. So you're doing this. Anything on the horizon? Maybe some new Alice in Chains? Maybe a tour or anything going on? I, I gotta ask. You know. Of course. Well, not right now. No. Um, you know, uh, Cantrell I think is just finishing up his solo tour. Yep. Uh, and uh you know and obviously i'm enjoying uh continuing to talk about and promote this record with the who uh i actually saw i actually saw control a couple of weeks ago he he came through atlanta on his tour and uh so you know we visited and, and hung out for a bit at sound check and uh he, he's having the time of his life he was he's very happy and and uh in in the moment there and we were catching up about all sorts of things, including this Who single. Cool. And uh, so, you know, we were both really in the moment with what we were dealing with at the time. And I actually had to leave because I had I had more press to do that that afternoon uh, around this record. So we're having we're having a good time. And, you know, when we do Alice in Chains, it's so full bore. It's full throttle, 100 um, percent. We just finished a tour last year in the United States. And um, so it's kind of, it, this is a period of just taking some time so that when we do come back together, it's re-energized with everything that we're bringing to it that we've done on our own in the time since we last convened, you know? So I think that's a big part of what uh, has kept, kept us together and kept this thing rolling along so well for, for, for so many years now. Um, and that that consistency that we bring to it now these days it this is a big part of of fueling that yeah i mean obviously you guys you know you're not up and coming anymore you don't have to uh push it to gotta put out another single gotta put out another single so you can take right. your time do your things yeah. and then when it feels right you come back together um right. but when you do come back together i'm just saying allison chains and the who on tour together <laughs> it seems like it makes sense in at that point. <laughs> you never know. I mean, it, it's, it, stranger things have happened. You know? uh, <laughs> yes, they do. We, we'll see. We'll see. Awesome. Well, man, William, I appreciate you jumping on and uh, talking about this. Uh, it's how I started my day uh, today playing it, and I'm sure I'll play it plenty more times because, like I said, it's a great song. You did a fantastic job uh, fusing them together and making it something that we can all rock out to. Well, man, thank you so much, and thank you for your support of the record. It really means a lot, and uh, I'm just glad your audience is enjoying it. Absolutely. I appreciate it. All right, man. See you. Thank you. Peace. Bye.